And now we're back from the crash. At this point, I just need the song. I just need tag challenge uh, on infinite repeat. Oh, well. Guess that's going to be a splice for uh, a YouTube video. I'll try to combine them. That's funny. It's been a while since I've had a hard crash like that. All right, but at least we know we can blame Circle for that. He 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 somehow with his his magic ramen noodly hands managed to crash the game or crash my entire computer. I didn't even do anything. Max betrayed my uh, my trust. <sighs> oh well. Yeah, got a lot of PCs. Go ahead. Hit me with it. The the funniest thing about it, and I don't know if this will come across in the um I don't know if it'll come across like the actual uh the actual streamer in the Spice of the Asian video. <laughs> but it it just kept going. It the, the the song just like everything froze. Couldn't move a mouse. Game stop. Time stop. Everything. The song just kept repeating that same noise. Uh, the song. <laughs> uh, the song is Fruit King from Mass Attack. But it was it was so funny. Just that 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 it just kept doing that. I hope it comes across on the recording, but it probably won't because it stopped. Bro, I told Circle that he crashed my PC with his magic ramen fingers. Or sorry, ramen powers, and he hit me with a dab sire. It is a dabbing quag sire. I need to reply to that. Your beef, your beef has diminished since uh, last being here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know if if I had a shiny from the last one or not. I I don't even think we got to the full check. Uh, let's see here. The song we got now is Coco K from Superstar. You know what? I'm gonna snooze this. Oh, actually, let me refresh this as well. Ah, oh, thank you. More like fun. Superstar, more like fun pack. What? Are you trying to hit a got him on a Kirby game? Oh. What Kirby's fun pack in Europe? Why change the name? What's Mario Party Superstar called? Mario Party Fun Pack. 
Since we have a theme of not having Superstar there. And PAL versions of games are weird. And now, I now need to know if Mario Party is actually called. Do you know what Holy Magic Century is? I do not. Should I? It's Quest 64. I never played Quest 64. I didn't play too many games on the on the Nintendo 64. I mainly played Smash Bros and um, Ocarina of Time on my 64. I don't really have any other game for it. Well, no, I played Kirby 64. What am I saying? I played Kirby 64 as well. Oh, uh, okay, Opera. All right. Uh, okay, so this song is the start, th the start stage from Star Allies. Did they really change Star Allies? Okay. <laughs> no, I, why, I'm not even selecting that. Why is it doing that? It's not even the selected thing. And it removes. <laughs> Welcome to the life of, of uh, Twitch sharing. If everything worked the first time, this job would be easy. It's nice to know that the crashes from my computer are always whenever I'm shiny hunting, like doing, during soft resets. It happened during Charmander Watch twice. God, with how much scuff is happening on this stream, I should be sponsored by them by now. Where's my scuff gamer branded controller? Give me the peep scuff controller. I love the fact that I use a peep as my profile picture on things just because like I'm such an advocate for peeps. I love peeps, but everybody hates them for some reason. They're just sugar-covered marshmallow. That's all peeps are. And people are like, nah, hate. Gotta, gotta hate on the peeps. Uh, the song is Rainbow Falls from Epic Yarn. Like, I, I've never understood the, the hate that people have for peeps. But they're like, they taste bad. It's literally just sugar and marshmallow. Yarn effort. I thought you were going to say cat string. To be honest. Epic Yarn more like cat string. <laughs> By the way, in case uh, if you can hear me, I would just refresh your... Um, I would refresh your uh, your page if you happen to be on a browser. Also, hi again, YouTube. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully this will be spliced together into one video. I'm tired of posting two parts of the same video. Oh God. I I don't even want to butcher the German on that.
Whales? Why are you whaling? Get back to the lab, Koki. My my uh my Gamba does not want those low red orb counts. Why are you wailing? Do we look like we live in Europe, Max? Oh, I just rose the counter sound and died again. At least I'm pretty sure. No, it didn't, everyone. I couldn't see the 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 bar uh, degrade. You guys also have a heat wave. Yeah, uh, apparently it's supposed to feel like 105 today where I'm at. Which, this is absolutely the hottest day of the summer, so far. The rest of the time it's been like below 90s. Oh yeah, that's the thing, Max. It's supposed to be, I think, I think the high for today is like 91? But yet for some reason, because of the way the, the sun is beaming down on us, it's supposed to be like 105. It's, it's crazy. Actually, what does it say it's outside right now on my phone? Hold on. Uh, yeah, 91. <laughs> I was actually around the dot. Wait. Oh, oh, that's... Okay. I was looking at my, um... Uh, oh, actually, Koki, I got you covered. Because what I was going to say is I was wondering why it said it was 91 on my phone in Fahrenheit like because on my um on my phone's like normal screen it's home screen it has the temperature in Fahrenheit which is what the F stands for freedom uh however in my notifications I have it set to Celsius so I was wondering why there was a disconnect there uh Koki it is 33 degrees Celsius here however it probably feels closer to I think uh, what is it, 36? Maybe 37? Okay. Yeah, so so even though it's it's 33, it feels like like 36 or 37. I, I, I'm trying to remember the, the conversion rate, but that should be about right. Uh, so this song is Through the Sky from Rainbow Curse. Same here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I really wanted to learn um, Celsius and like getting the kind of like average range down for it. And I've been I've been close as I've been trying to do that. I'm I'm usually like like two or three degrees off, like in the lower temperatures. But the important thing is that you usually have the idea of what around it is. So like my phone will be like uh it'll say like i don't know something like 67 and i'm saying so and i'm guessing it's around like maybe 26 but i don't know if that's actually accurate or not until i actually check but it is kind of funny because um delcius actually really is a better determinist than uh, it, it's better for temperature anyway. However, I swear, if any of you start ripping out the Kelvin. I'm taking away your orbs for a month. I'll put you on the on the block list for red orbs for a month. Uh, all right. The song we got now is "Crushy Cloud" from Squeak Squad. 
Elvin, my beloved. Oh boy. Max. It sounds like I'm playing a, a uh, Team Hearts game. You're rambling? Oh, uh, I need you to go pet Striga for me. Huh? What? Oh, it wasn't close enough for that, but okay. Yeah, it's it's every 25, and then every 100th is uh, is a 10k, but it's fine. Why do I want you to pet Striga? Uh, because I, I want her to know I wanted to pet her. And then go find Buddy and ruffle his feathers for me. She's busy molding right now. Oh, okay. You can do it later. What are you rambling about? And how dare you not include me and Koki? Also, don't forget to join Max before you lose out on trying to get cookies. Or cookies. <laughs> Orbies. Is upset at me at the moment. What'd you do to her? What'd you do to that little baby? Okie won the 5k just to gamble it all the way in three, two, one. Wow, I can't believe you actually had 10 seconds of restraint. <laughs> What do you need help with? Sorry, we can't. We're not your. Uh, we're not your help community. I told her she couldn't climb onto the bookshelf and she growled at me. Oh, Poor little baby. Can't handle being growled at. Oh, you're still, you're still going on about your, uh, your, your veil guard. So if I if I call it if I call it Dread Wars, I mean I'm dead naming it. The song is called Clouds Part uh, from Planet Robobot. <laughs> I guess. Can't wait to call the uh, the new Destiny expansion Project Frontiers and just keep calling it that whenever it comes out. We call it either or, either or, neither nor. Eventually, I'll know what it's like to play a Dragon Age game. And blue was it Blue Dragon? I need to go back and play the uh at some point I need to go back and play the um oh was it Shaman King game I tried playing through that and like at one point it crashed but I didn't have a memory card so like I lost all the save data and I played it for like four or five hours maybe even longer I don't I don't really don't remember it's been so long ago. I, was, I was a teenager when I played that we prefer the name Dreadwolf but understand why they changed it because the story ain't just about uh Solus Solus like it was a couple years ago. First one, so it's soulless. All right. All right. So the song it's about to play is the Daff Roll from Dream Course. I love Solus so much. Well, that's good. I'm happy you 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 can show your affection towards a character and and write about them. In your stories, who plays Solus? Because you usually have people in relation to those, like playing the characters.
Doesn't that make it a little bit hard for multiple people to write the same person? Also, get out of here, Koki. Come on. Save your olds. Get the slots. Maybe you're better at slots than you are at gambling. Whoops. There's Macy, August, and Zan. Did they at least talk to each other to like coordinate who, or to like coordinate the story between them? Or is it like three different like stories? It leads. Nara leads. Uh, I don't know why I, said, why I said it like that. It leads way to different types of dynamics of our characters. How do you? Through the portrayals, I believe Macy has a bit of anxiety, though. Macy's the main Solo. I'm guessing. I'm guessing because you have three different like portrayals of Solus, Macy doesn't want to accidentally like have a similar story. Is that what you're trying to say? Like, like they're gonna come up with something and it's gonna inadvertently match someone else's. Is that what you're, they're worried about? Uh, the song is swept out to sea from Rainbow Curse. Deep anxiety means you doubt your own portrayal of a canon character. Oh. Listen, that wasn't in the list of, of verbiage you gave to me. Like to the point of dropping them completely because you can feel replaced. Uh. I mean, to be fair, anyone but the story writers is technically like their own portrayal, no matter how similar or different it may be. And so, like, I understand they have anxiety about it, but uh, hopefully they can understand eventually whether by you telling them or if for some reason you take my words and throw it at them that like the way that I, I need to find better ways to phrase things but with Macy's Solace she writes him as open and caring towards Sindri meanwhile with Zane he's more closed off and cautious I mean, fair. But I mean, like, like once again, that's two different, two different portrayals, which, generally speaking, so so long as, because like that person is taking what they know about the character and and putting their own kind of like portrayal into it. I I wouldn't. So long as you are holding true to what you know about the character and what you are wanting to put into it, I don't think that your your portrayal of a character is ever going to be any kind of wrong like i don't i don't know how to explain this i don't know i'll just reinforce the idea that the way that she's doing her characters is perfectly fine and good based on the knowledge and the way that she wants to portray solas all right, Koki, I'll get your five sips. You're going to make me finish my cup. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Yeah, so that, that cups them too. Uh, the song is Ripple Field 3 from Dreamland for... Wow, I'm having a strong... Ripple Field 3 from Dreamland 3. So if, uh, da, da, da. With what Zan said, they straight up make a good point that if Solus wasn't willing to listen to even... Loves about stopping... 
what he's planning on doing, then why would he listen? Even if it's his own. Macy's legit. Macy's legit is conflicted and horrified about the situation because his plan now interferes with his living a normal. Yeah, it, it's both. These are both perceived portrayals that they're doing. And they're both just as valid. I mean, technically speaking, nothing is canon until the writers of that character itself is put into action. And so how they see the reaction to the character is how they see the reaction to the character. And you're just going based off of. I mean, both both sound like very valid, like, character, uh, caricatures, caricatures of the same character. Well, I may not know the backstory of Solus, so I mean... They're both, you know, correct. The only time portrayals of characters get kind of funny in regards to that, if you're trying to keep it canon when a character dies, the like canon in a story, like how do you portray them different than they were already portrayed? Unless you do it in a different kind of like universe under different circumstances with their character development, or they get revived somehow. Or the fact they hinted that we might see Solus in his prime as a young and give me a now. Yeah, that's the only time I could see like you know Macy's dupe anxiety coming into play. Like I said, is with what I just said. How like tell if the character has died. Like how do you portray a character different other than telling events that are technically unknown? So like let's let's actually use uh, Solus for example. Like you guys don't know how he technically grew up unless it's like some like kind of backstory stuff. But you can always portray events that kind of happen between any told stories versus any shown stories. And that, once again, is where that portrayal kind of comes into play. But like I said, if somebody dies, then it's a it's a completely different kind of game you're playing there. We can see cans who don't follow direct canon, canon divergent. Uh, yeah. Uh, the song is Submarine Suburbs from Planet Robobot. This is a very short song. Kendrick obviously isn't canon, so like, well, yeah, but free game. Yeah, but also kind of introducing characters that are not in the universe itself, like like in the original canon universe, it introduces a new dynamic. Because now the character like Solus has a new interaction in the character that you're giving. <clears throat> obviously, with Sindri being the child, it, it does, like I said, throw a new dynamic into it. And it's up to the to the people playing them to deem how the person would react. Because until until Solus gets a a uh, a child in the game, you don't know how he's gonna react. Someone told me it shines a new light. Yeah, exactly. You're intro you're introducing a completely new dynamic, which changes everything. And it's up to the people writing that specific character to determine how that works. Like I said, I'm expecting it now, Koki. If I have to get me out like in a perfectly quiet moment, like I'm not expecting it. Oh, whoops. I won't forget to disable when I'm playing a horror game one day. I I really appreciate you like trying though. All right, the song that's about to play is this one fades out. So the next song is Admiring the Figure Collection from Forgotten Land. Missy Solis is absolutely mortified at the thought of his kid being involved. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should add like a jump scare routine. Yeah, but then it jump scare people to, in the crowd, too. But if I'm being jump scared, you deserve to be jump scared, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
yeah, the, by the way, the stream broke like a little before the halfway mark. That's fun. Oh, actually, hold on. I never checked to see if the previous recording actually fixed itself properly. But that, that's what's currently recording. Did it fix itself? I don't think it did. Which is a problem. Yeah. That'll become a problem later. But well, maybe. Hold on. Actually. Let me see if I can actually do something very specific. This one. Alright, so that finished. So does it work now? Maybe this one. I need to pause this just for a moment. I'm, I'm watching the playback of the um of the thing, and I want to see if it frees and the music still keeps playing in the in the um in the recording. You're about to deal with like I don't know, like 16 seconds of uh silence, I guess. No, all right. So the moment everything froze is the moment the the uh the recording stopped, which sucks because it was a really funny moment for me, where it's just constantly playing that loop. But oh well. All right, let me read this ramble real quick. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. And as I was telling her, another mutual one. Sindri takes a massive hit to protect her dad, and Macy piped in with. Uh, Solus would actually have a stroke if Sindri got hurt. A literal few moments after seeing her again her ears, especially the last time he saw her, she was toddler. Even more especially since she basically just took a Gucci from an old elven god magic. It's a miracle she's even alive. You know, those Eldritch Blasts, man, they're, they're deadly. Alright, let's roll down here. Yeah, alright. Okay, so the song that we're about to be listening to is called Deep Diving Kirby Submarine from Rainbow Curse. Can also close this now. She, she is a demigod. Not surprised personally, but I bet it gives everyone a heart attack. <laughs> Is it in D and D, like you know, the second class that gets Eldritch Blast, and only like essentially just uses that throughout the entire campaign. It's like not, you're not a man who knows like a thousand techniques, but like one that's like practiced one a thousand times or something like that. You will fear this Eldritch Blast, and that's the only thing <laughs> that I know how to do. Like I missed my Eldritch Blast. What will you do now? I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Has like the the black like charred look on her face, or on her like on her body. I never told you what Circle said to me about the about the ramen thing. 
Hold on, let me find it again. Uh, he called me a degenerate. Learn to appreciate fine cuisine. Never speak to me or my pot again. Because <laughs> he boils his ramen. I thought told me he crashed my computer. I don't know how he did it with his magic ramen powers, but you did it. You're gone. Then he quag he quag dived. He was it was it called? Dab sired on me. Look what you did. You you caused my stream to crash, Max, because you told Circle. How dare you? No, this is your fault. Don't you bra me. This is your fault. You sent his his magic ramen noodle fingers at me. <laughs> you even talked to him last night. Which means you were playing this ahead of time. What is this? Uh, this is Kirby Collecting from Mass Attack. I'm most certain that like every like these streams where I'm doing um, like music from games like Kirby and Zelda from the last one, they're absolutely going to get hit with a copyright strike or not a strike, uh, but like copyright um, on the the YouTube vods for it, which is fine doesn't bother me hashtag blame max exactly so you get it in the middle of my mental breakdown I was playing a massive prank on who it better not have been me <laughs> what did I do I didn't deserve it I was trying to be helpful I was trying to be caring trying to be an adult ah pull the prank on the person Yeah, and what, what was your big prank? <laughs> Alright, one, uh, one more before another raffle. Because I'm sobbing on the phone with Circle. Bro, I want to get this man banned on Twitch. It's going to be so funny. Well, go on. Tell, I know, obviously, you know, you're joking, but like, tell, tell me, tell me what your massive prank would be like on the spot. I need, I need to know. I need to know what you can come with on the spot. Gamer words. That get you banned, not me. I know I'm in charge of my chat, but I can ban you. There she is, Twitch officer. That's the one that dropped a massive gamer word. I can't believe you. Can't wait to make uh, Maxi Match 1. <laughs> My new mod. Gonna go down the same path as Sal, just keep constantly adding numbers at the end. Hitting the gritty from uh from uh, da, 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 da. not content warning. The song is called Green Greens from Return to Dreamland. Mr. Twitch, if you're here, the Mr. Twitch. For legal terms and service reasons, I am joking. For terms and conditions, please see more. <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna do it. Gamer. Wow. Yeah, you, you can't even win off of a 600 bet. Okay, I think you might just need to wrap it up. You might need to go home, leave Vegas for a week. <laughs> Your account has been terminated. One of my names in a Discord server is delete account. No more Gamba. Oh, uh, Max. Have you not learned from watching Koki? More gambling I am here. It only took you losing consecutively for you to be like, yeah, I probably shouldn't gamble, but you're going to do it anyway. Once a Gamba, always a Gamba. Let's see here. What's next? Also, Max, uh, five car raffle. Uh, the song is Plains Area 2 from Squeak Squad. I gamble work every day. It's called Cops and Robbers. <laughs> That's good. Mr. Twitch, she is, she is not lying. He, in fact, does steal from the, the register. <laughs> Arrest her, Mr. Twitch. With your cop like powers. I'm absolutely vibing to this music. I want the CEO of Twitch punch a VTuber on stream. I think I'm safe. I don't even think the CEO of Twitch knew what was going on during that stream. I think he was fed information. Hey, just punch in a general direction and we'll fix it in post. Yo, know, Koki won 5k. See how long he holds on to it. Oh no, he won. No, my gamble is feeding Koki's gambling addiction. I, I know he straight up decked Fillion, but like, it, it was still funny. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty confident the CEO of Twitch has no idea what's going on. But also, Fillion, Fillion has always been funny. Like, I don't know where she comes up with these, like, goofs and gags. I think she's been in the game, too. She just knows. So I'm pretty sure half the people who watch Fillion, like, the, de the degenerates of Fillion, I'm pretty sure half of them are just waiting for her to, like, do a flip and fail. For obvious reasons, because of the outfit she wears. She gave her permission. I don't know if that counts as assisted battery. Uh, this is Costumes and Colors from Dream Buffet. I mean, I guess if, you know, assisted, um... Assisted tour exists, then I guess it's a uh, assisted battery would it would be a thing. Striga has arrived. Less growly. Hi, Striga. Have you come to be petted by my words? Please, sir, can I pet the kitty? He's screaming at me. Did you remember to feed her? The poor baby. Oh, let me disconnect my Bluetooth and see if she responds to you calling her. Riga. Riga, come here. I, I don't know if my clicks will uh, come through on the microphone. Riga, here, little kitty. Alexa, play bird noises. <laughs> That's all a ruse. You need to take your Bluetooth off. 
Alexa, play gamer sounds. <laughs> yeah, my my Alexas don't trigger from the call name Alexa. Siri, play the Macarena. Are you guys chittering now? Thanks. You're welcome. She's a good girl. She deserves to be chittering. Oh, well. She's trying to hunt the Alexa. <laughs> he knocked over the Alexa. He's a good kitty. He's just doing what cats do, you know? Be little menaces. There it is. I knew it was coming. Sorry, Koki. He played the game and uh, the game won. Uh, the song is, okay, I'm guessing it's the title theme from uh, DDD's Drum Dash Flux. <laughs> A raffle of one. You know, you probably could have just given him the one, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it's the fair point. <laughs> All right. Huh? Don't give Pokey Buddy. <laughs> I already have one. Thank you. I wish somebody would take like the four cats I have. I have four cats that are, uh, well, I have six cats in the house right now, but four of them need to be adopted. And no one wants to adopt them. And it's like, it really sucks. I'm spending $40, um, like every two weeks on their food. This isn't including the food I have to buy for the cats. All right, so the song I'm playing now is Happy Town version two from Super Kirby Clash. Or just take one to where I am. Yeah, I would love to, but you see, you live on the other side of the entire United States. Yeah, when are your people to bring them over here? It's trigger analysis. What are you yapping about? She misses the birds. How dare you take the birds away from her? I think at the current rate we're going, I might be able to get to a thousand resets. Well, yeah, because you took the birds away from her. So, cat, whenever um, we initially got the, the four cats that we have that need to be adopted, she was, kind of, she was slightly tired of them kind of like running around and like kind of causing havoc all the time. So she got a thing called Cat TV, which I didn't really, which I don't think either of us really, or I don't think she really cost money. But it like essentially displayed like very like high FPS birds on the TV screen. And when I tell you, you distracted those cats so good as they just watch the birds on the TV screen. It was it was crazy. 
And so, I it, apparently, cats just sometimes like to watch things as simple as birds. I mean, yeah, they like swat the TV sometimes, but like then they kind of realize, oh, it's it's kind of like we're looking through glass because all the cats have access to windows so they can look outside. And to them, I think it's something similar to that. This is letting me give her head kisses again. Yeah, see, it was all a ruse to get to get you to to get her and you back in good graces together. You leave your sweater or Striga usually sleeps. Yeah, the only issue I have with like leaving my stuff around, like my clothing, is that the cat's fur like comes off really easily on my stuff. And most of my stuff is like dark colors, and most of the cats have like white fur. And we don't own the um sticky rollers, so it's just like okay. Alright. Guess I'll suffer more. It's like my security shirts, all four of them are black. And my pants are all black, except for the one pair that I wore this week, which are gray. It helps calm her down while I'm at work. She's got separation anxiety. And yeah, she's angry at you, most of the time. Oh yeah, the song changed, didn't it? Uh, the song is Planet Pop Star from Return to Dreamland. That'll probably change here shortly, too. Yeah, I think one of the cats here has uh, separation anxiety, but the thing is, is that she also doesn't like skin contact, so it's like a very, like, back and forth thing. Always needy, but always... yelling at me. <laughs> Can't wait to just see her under a pile of clothing. Crunchyroll, what are you going off about? Oh, I, wow! That, that that season wrapped up really quickly. Crunchyroll just gave me a notification about um, the Black Butler Public School arc. Its season finale is already out. Like, are you really? Well, with subtitles, I should say. I did not expect that to like wrap up so soon because it felt like it was, it was just like released like last month. Oh. Oh. All right. Let, let me see what you're looking at with with Striga. Yeah, I lost my Crunchyroll subscription. I haven't seen past episode four. Oh, the of the school arc. Uh, Cat and I need to watch it. We haven't seen any of it. Yo, little baby. Striga, Striga is baby. She deserves to be called baby. It's so good. We we need to watch it so bad. He's baby coated. I'm not surprised by this. Alright, so the song now that's playing is called Toy Box from Planet Robobot. I have not been listening for the transition, which is bad. Did you wish her a happy birthday and may I forget? Uh I don't remember. May 4th. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. I mean, probably not. I don't remember. I'm kind of in the middle of something, so I can't check.
You're having a staring contest? Wow. I think you're gonna lose because cats don't blink with our with the eyelids. Uh, the song that's about to play. Country of Peace, Dreamland from Star Allies. Oops. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> Gotta keep her on her toes. She just winked at you. She was sleeping. You didn't say she was sleeping, you said she winked at you. How does a wink turn into a quick snooze? It's not like I hit her with sleep powder. Good morning. Oh, well, am I supposed to know that? It's not like I have a live feed looking directly at Striga's face. Good morning, Cookie. Then the oh well she just said. <laughs> I'm more curious as to why you didn't put your Bluetooth back in. At any point, I can I can have your your robot companion do more stuff. You're really about to hit me with the cat faces, isn't she? Yeah. All right. All right, now they're shining. The song it's playing now is Mysterious Rocks Rumbling From Behind from Triple Deluxe. Yes, you have. She's smiling while sleeping. Cats do that. It's, it's, cats always smile. What are you talking about? It's part of the cat face. Why do you think, why do you think the, the cat face is a three? Let me believe she's a happy kitty. Is she purring? Exactly, Koki gets it. No idea she's across the room. I guess you don't have motorboat loud ass like purring cats that I do. not as big as a motor as Buddy. Well, sorry, we all can't just have massive, like, motorboat burrs. The fact that people can purr is weird. Like, I don't know how you do it. Not, not, not like a bad beer, I just, I don't know how you do it. It's like a motorcycle. Actually, mission join if you want to enter the 5k raffle. to tell you this, but Virgil's not sentient. Alright. Tiny. Aren't you sure? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, this song is called Beginner's Field from Battle Royale. With keys. Do not overdo it. I mean, if you think about it, you only have so many, you have so, you have limited amounts of red orbs you can get in a month.
It even warned you. It even warned you. It even warned you. I'm in there! Now why would you do that? Trigger's trying to sleep. Frick me, frick you. Uh, okay, this is Waddle D Town from Forgotten Land. He's peacefully snoozing right now. Hitting the quick snooze. <laughs> Okay, maybe I won't get to a thousand today. I'm still gonna try to though. You sent me another picture. She looks so tiny. Well, she is tiny. She's she weighs like a pound and a half. It's adorable sleeping on top of a toad. All right, since we are coming up on hour three, uh, so I did post, um, I did post the schedule for the, for this weekend, quote unquote, because tell my weekend is, um, Saturday through Tuesday, because I work on Wednesday. Uh, so I pretty much posted that what the schedule is going to be for the next couple of days on Twitter, and you can always do exclamation Twitter if you want to go over there. Um, the only caveat is that tomorrow's may be a little weird because depending on yeah, it's either Twitter or social, I believe. No S. Uh, yeah, so so obviously today I'm doing the dual hunting. Tomorrow is supposed to be more of uh, Thymesia. But it all depends on um, some housework that needs to be done. Like some actual important housework that needs to be done. Uh, so depending on how long that takes or if it actually really does start to like actually be worked on tomorrow, then I, depending on how long that goes, I may not be able to stream tomorrow. But the plan is to. It, it, the plan is still to stream tomorrow, Thymesia. But if I'm not on by one, then I probably won't be streaming that day. Because regardless of what time I start tomorrow, uh, I'd be ending around 3 30. So that's just a heads up about that. Monday, I won't be streaming, and then Tuesday will be more of Legend of Dragoon. Okay, so let's hear what's the song now? Uh, Magalore Shop from Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. Which turns off, Strig immediately wakes up and stares at the TV like I just insulted her ancestors. Yeah, her, you know, her Switch playing ancestors. AKA the people with DS's.
Yeah, I still haven't decided if I want to put Thymesia on YouTube yet. Obviously, Legend of Dragoon is still though. So, so like, it, it all depends, I guess, on interest on Thymesia. We got a picture for you coming. Uh, um, here we have a new song rolling in. Select Link from Star Allies. Alright, let's see what we got here. <laughs> it's a very squinty cat. She's so eepy. We'll let her eep. Don't let her listen to my ramblings. Put your Bluetooth in and let her eat. Unless you want me to tell your axle to like, you know, play bird noises again. Nar. Oh, nar. Maybe unless Super Vision falls into anything. Also, while uh, maybe making fun of you for the fact that you say Nar, uh, cat says Rs all the time. Of course, that was me. Oh boy. I'm glad I'm not really a light sleeper. With, like, there, there's definitely a stark difference between people who work night shift and people who work day shift. People who work day shift, like, stomp around all the time. People who work night shift are, like, very quiet. When they're, like, coming home and stuff like that. And so me being a light sleeper would be bad. This cat stomps around all the time. He's also a very loud individual, so. Like, volume-wise, like, talking. So if she ever has a phone call, I can hear from the other side of the house. Uh, okay, so what we got going on now is Quality Square from Epic Yarn. Or sorry, not Quality, Quilty. Quilty Square from Epic Yarn. That's, that's, that's a cute little nickname. Okay, are you like the Snorlax right now, just wanting to like peacefully sleep, but but like it's like me being a Pied Piper playing a giant flute in your ear? Am I your Pied Piper right now? Do we make a dyslexia counter? No, it's it. What? I no, I just did not see the right letters because I was trying to get back to this quickly because I I take a glance at it real quick. I don't have dyslexia. I mean, the fact that I took a second look at the word anyway, just I already knew the word was wrong. <laughs> dyslexia. I also do not have this calculia. Which is like dyslexia, but with numbers instead. I generally, like, I generally don't know if I have any issues with me other than just being a dumbass. You're so eepy. Well, that's what four hours of sleep will do to you. That's a three hours will do to you. I 
Now whose fault was that? Because it wasn't mine. I didn't keep you up after 1 a.m. Alright, so the song the song now is going to become Memorial Theater for Planet Robobot. It's hot. <laughs> I don't think you need to go sleep in the fridge. Oh boy. I probably should go get a refill of my drink, to be honest. I'm starting to get thirsty again. It's really weird that, like, I get kind of thirsty. I say kind of. I get thirsty whenever like I'm doing this, but whenever I'm playing games, and maybe it's just because of the focus on like the activity that's happening. I just maybe I'm drinking subconsciously, but like I, I don't recall drinking much, or like getting thirsty whenever I'm doing that kind of th like stuff. I call the pillow in my arms. No, don't you start that too. Nar and arse. Like come on, don't you start that too. living on the west coast emulating me. Next thing you know, you're going to tell me your name is Searsha. Next thing you know, you're Irish. New vocal stem unlocked. But that is become English. Oh, was it? They call me the Midnight Barber. If I still talk to Chloe, like, if I ever talk to her, like, before stream, I'd walk into the stream with an English accent. Uh, the song is Character Treats from Dream Buffet. For some reason, whenever I, um, I hear, like, a distinct accent, and only that accent for, like, an hour or so, I, for some reason, start emulating it. Oh, is my roomie not home? Does that mean I can, I can be, you know, less hot? By means of not the AC. Last night I was reading over like some of the um like sh like shiny odds I need to overcome and it just it made me realize how how scary this whole experience can be with shiny hunting especially in these older generations because like some of the stuff I was looking at are like long shiny hunts with stuff like the shiny charm and stuffs with like the Masuda method on top of the shiny charm and and like sandwiches that boost like shiny odds and, and all that jazz and it's just like those are with boosted chances and people are like hitting like double digit or sorry uh like there are hitting like the tens of thousands on those like encounters and resets and I'm just like I have no increase in odds <laughs> Here it is pure dumb luck. All right, the song playing now is "Please Don't Inhale the Cinema Patrons" from Forgotten Land. If I latch onto a certain phrase, I'm going to keep repeating it. I walk into a Burger King, then I walk back home from Burger King. Yeah, Echo Lily is real. It is very real with people with ADHD. So I think echolele is also a thing for uh, uh, in the autistic field as well, or for the autism spectrum. 
<laughs> you and Duke Nukem quotes. Uh, and was it? <laughs> I'm here to chew gum bubble. No, wait, that's not right. Here to blast asp. No, that's not what it means. I'm quoting a uh, a video. Duke Nukem is so unapologetic about the way that that character is. Oh, hello. What, Andre? Thank you so much for following. Hello. How are you today? I hope the ridiculousness in the Kirby music is, is uh, isn't necessarily why you're here, because I don't always play Kirby music. That's number 900 on the reset as well. I'm in there! <laughs> Max, if you could do a 10k raffle for the 100th mark. Okay, so if you want to uh, join uh, to get some red orbs, you can do SMS and join. The point of those, is, I didn't look at the shiny. The point of those is if you have the most at the end of the month, then you get to name any of the shiny Pokemon that have yet to be named. And that can be, uh, that can include Pokemon that have not been shiny caught yet. Uh, we are listening to the staff roll from 64. I literally was passed out until you said my name. Why are you making me do these accents? Just because of the way that you're spelling the words. Yo, Koki won the 10k. Single handedly. No, unabated. Oh, no. Virgil, don't, 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 uh, uh, what's the word? I don't know the word. Wait, my body dropped from existence when you did that. I'm sorry I gave you an out-of-body experience from saying your name. Enable, yeah. Virgil, don't enable the gamble. Disable it. Virgil, break his orbs. I hate that my stream crashed earlier. I never get an accurate, accurate representation of how long it's been. Whenever that happens. Because usually I'll just look at the bottom of OBS to be like, okay, that's how long I've been going, I know how much longer I have, but whenever it crashes, I have to like keep looking at the clock. Right, neither are shiny. I've been joking. I was snoring a bit, and then you went max. I felt my soul leave my body because I have sleep anxiety. I just need to like do ASMR, really, really put the the scare into your dream. It's just my stand powers trying to take your soul away from your body. I'm secretly the Grim Reaper. There it is. I, I, I told you it, he, he was going to disable it. I hate it here. <laughs> the funny thing is, Koki, you have better odds winning here than you than you would in Chimeras, but yet somehow you keep winning for Kai's. 
Whenever I'm asleep and someone calls me, I legit like jump so bad. We just don't sleep, silly. Who sleeps? I know I won't be after stream. Uh, the song is about to play is Properties Graph from Air Road. Exactly. Sleeper, sleeping is overrated. As the famous say, sleep is full of the weed. Play video games instead? Yeah. Yeah, because that does real well at keeping me awake. Especially this. I get so tired when I have to do these. Whenever I, like, these past few weeks because of having to work Friday nights instead of uh, Thursday nights. I mean, I work Thursday nights as well. Cause, but, like, usually I used to have Fridays off. But, like... Coming, getting off Friday, or sorry, getting off Saturday morning, or aka this morning, and have to come to do this, it, it, it's really tiring because uh, soccer sets are kind of like very monotonous and there's not much variation into what's happening other than seeing if there's a shiny. So if there's a time for me to accidentally reset over a shiny, it's during this time frame. I've had instances where I was so tired the whole deep sleep feels like a fever dream. I've gotten so zonked my eyelids hurt when I closed my eyes. I've never had my eyelids hurt. But I suppose uh, that just kind of happens. I guess everybody's eyelids are different. All right, so the song we're about to listen to is called Sky High and Smitten from Planet Robobot. Robobot. I don't know why I say Robobot ev different every single time I've said it so far. The important thing is that you're not getting zoinked when you get zonked. And even now, when I close my eyes in for two seconds, I'm in and out. Stand up. Put some air in your face. That's if you want to stay away. Obviously, if you're driving, that doesn't work. I when well, you can't stand up in your car, but also to actually the air whenever you're driving makes you more tired. But I'm comfy. Yeah, drop and give Kofi twenty now. He's a drill sergeant. Professionally, in his free time. Music's so giant, like, the music from Kirby's always so lively. Does I look like I have upper and core strength? Just do the, uh, do the push-ups from your knees, you'll be fine. Those are, like, really, really easy. Do I look like I care? Wow. Holy crap. Cuck, you're really hitting, hitting with the, the hard shovel there. Me a Dairy Queen employee. Who knows? Maybe if you had that upper and core strength, you could get, you know, that top shelf cookie dough without needing to hold a door up with your foot and calling out to Crystal from your walkie or your headset. <laughs> you leave Cookie alone, he's correct. I'm fragile. Yeah, it was it? Uh, paper skin and glass bones. <laughs> Weak constitution, even. <laughs> ten push-ups, then another ten. That's not called twenty, it's called two sets of ten. Different. It's like when you run it's like when you run a mile and then you run it again immediately after. Oh I'm holding restraint. Who's restraint? I don't see them in my chat. You also don't have a cat named that, so you have some splaining to do. Practicing self-control. 
Are you practicing it or are you trying to enable it? Because when have you ever had self control? You've always been a, a been a max of action. I was two seconds from timing him out. Aww. Going feral. <laughs> Yeah, time me out, you won't do it. How are you gonna time me out from talking, huh? You just gonna like teleport to my house and hit my mute button? That's called collateral. Alright. Sorry, Koku, for the collateral damage. Listen, I get girl power and all that, but like girl power does not include teleportation. It just includes omniscience. All right, so the song it's about to play is White Wing Dynablade from Superstar. Or, or sorry, Fun Pack. Everything went black. Koki, did you blink? <laughs> I knocked out Koki. Nah, I'm pretty sure you just blinked. I gotta say, of all these Kirby songs, my favorite one is Please Do Not Inhale the Theater Patrons, I think is what it was. Where is it? Sorry, the Cinema Patrons. I'm giggling like an idiot right now. How tired am I? I don't know, I giggle like an idiot. I'm whenever I'm wide awake. <laughs> Kirby's Fun Pack is the best music. I mean, all the Kirby, like, games really have good music. Like, there's a... Nintendo and Sega, for the most part, just... Their music is banger after banger after banger. Like, a lot of the Pokemon music, banger after banger. Kirby music, banger after banger. Zelda music, banger after banger. Sonic music, cannot miss. Like, 3 a.m. giggling. Which you cannot tell me Circle's brother is streaming right now. Is he? Oh yeah, Stone Flux is going. He's doing the uh, ALGS Challenger Circuit. Oh, okay, yeah, so that... So like, he... A 10 minute delay? Holy crap, man. I understand not wanting stream sniping, but that is ridiculous. That is asinine. Why even stream at that point? Unless you just want proof of your, like your placement. Yeah, that's what it's what's titled. He titled he titled it that way. Uh, the song is playing right now is "Boarding the Halberd" from Blowout Blast. Of course, uh, Meta Knight gets this kind of a song tied to a ship. Yeah, like, there's gonna be, like, like terrible, like, chat interaction with that. And the reason why I say that is because, like, like, what is it? During the Salvation's Edge, like, world's first race, people were blacking out their screens. And it's just like, really? Oh, well. I guess I'm in the poker next down the bottom right. Max, go to sleep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that bulb store wasn't shining, I'm just gonna double check.
I'm just vibing this music, man. Nice good tempo, good beat. Nice jazz. Whenever I have a non on and I see I have an ass from it on, I immediately want to pass away. I'm guessing a non a non post or just you know people who don't who haven't signed in but can still ask questions. Why is that a thing? Why is that even a thing? People already are have like an like anonymity online for the most part anyway. So having a non post even more anonymity like all right. The song is the main game clear menu from Return to Dreamland. It sounds like a Smash Bros theme. Like one of the like the battle stages for uh the tree stage. And non choose the function to hide and bully people so messed up. I mean there's a reason why they don't allow like people without accounts to not post on Reddit. I would never hide when bullying. Yeah, exactly. You own up to your bullying. Like what we do to Kai all the time. Haha, 20k for your reset. Yeah, bully, <laughs> bully with your whole chest. As a matter of fact, don't do that. Don't bully at all. Bullying is lame. Alright, for one, you misspelled raffle. For two, it's... What? Every 25 is 5, and then every 100 is uh, is 10. I didn't even get to 25 yet. <laughs> Circle's brother has a 10 minute delay and you're like 10 minutes in the future. I told you I did not. I said Circle's brother has a 10 minute delay. <laughs> and I said you're like 10 minutes in the future. <laughs> Alright, the song we got going on is Gamble Galaxy. Oh no. Pokey song. Gamble Galaxy from Squeak Squad. And he immediately lost it. Well, I guess that Bulbasaur's name is Ah. It also sounds like I'm listening to a Mega Man flex song. I love how it's never just the flat amount that you've won. It's always like the bonus that you've had from watching. Like as well. Like you're throwing that in his collateral. I don't think I'm gonna get to a thousand and forty-five minutes. Fast forward mode? Nah. I'll live. 
too early to be doing that. I don't think I did that for Charmander until I got to like the 4,000. Good luck with the ad in five minutes, anybody who's here without a, a sub or turbo. I mean, so long as I keep focusing on the resets and stuff like that, I think I'll be fine. All right, the song playing now is opening from Dreamland 3. The way I just whined because someone set off their car again and I was sleeping. Why are you sleeping? You're supposed to be modding. Didn't we already go over this? I don't know what about this music, this insanity, and my stupid voice is letting you fall asleep. just took your day off from work to berate me and sleep. How dare you? I mean, what better way to take off your day of work, actually? Keep it coming. Keep insulting. I can take it. <laughs> this... But it's what I do. Huh? Wait, hold on a sec. Huh? Sorry, I... I... Gotta check something. Uh... That just popped up on. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I thought that was tomorrow. All right. All right. All right. Um, all right. I forgot something was going on today. I thought it was going on tomorrow. No. All right. So I'll actually have to end stream here shortly. The thing that I thought was happening at 3.30 uh, is today, not tomorrow. So I want to try and do these resets real quick just to get to 930 and then I want to wrap up there. Yeah, I just got I I got a notification about it. Whoopsie. Let's see if I can do this quickly. Nope, don't nickname. Does that mean stream tomorrow? Uh, not necessarily, because because stream tomorrow is is completely independent of if I'm doing the work, like for the house or not. Um, the actually let me snooze the ad so it doesn't play. Uh, the thing about tomorrow was like if I'd be ending at three thirty or not, which obviously I'm not because it's supposed to be today. So all right, we got one more reset. All I know how to do is eat, sleep, insult, and go feral. What a combination. Yeah, this is this is what happens whenever you like try to like plan things. Like whenever you, it's like 3.30 in the morning and trying to like have things right for a schedule and stuff like that, you forget things on, on the wrong day. Alright, so that was the last set of resets. Sadly, did not get anything. But yeah, so I guess I'll have to end things here. Didn't realize it was today. But anyway, so tomorrow, uh, just keep an eye on Twitter or, or you can just come here. If um, if I'm live at noon, obviously I'm playing uh, and I'll be going to hopefully four. 
Uh, tomorrow is once again going to be Thymesia, so that kind of like Dark Souls kind of clone with the Plague Doctor. Um, it is a really fun game, and I, I really hope that people come to watch that. It is it's a really cool game. Um, now, uh, if I'm not, if stream is not started by one, um, I probably won't be streaming tomorrow then. Um, because if it goes past one for fixing the, um, for fixing what we're going to be doing tomorrow, chances are we're probably going well past that. Uh, so I guess you just keep that in mind. If you go to Twitter, actually, uh, if like, let's say it's like, let's say it's like one four, or sorry, let's say it's like 12.45 p.m. Uh, at Eastern. Um, and I'll send out like a tweet or something like that. Like, hey, like if I'm almost done, then I'll probably, like if, if I can start like as close to one as I can, then maybe. But just keep an eye on Twitter. If if I'm not live at noon, just keep an eye on there and and, and I'll just kind of like let you know the, the plan will be for that. Uh, once again, there's going to be no stream for Monday, but then Tuesday we'll be back with Legend of Dragon. Wow, <laughs> got got a gamble at the very end for that. All right, just to let you know, the song that was playing before uh, was "Beware the Forest Fungus," and the one that's playing right now is "Woods Wayfarer." Anyway, so with that, <laughs> it's sad that I have to end early once again, but with that. Thank you all for coming. I will bid you all adieu and memento mori. Have a good one, guys.